Welcome back. It's an exciting time to be a part of Briarcliff basketball with both the men's and women's teams among the top contenders in the GPAC race. And Britta Hand's group hit the court this afternoon to kick off their double feature with Doan. Chargers have won their last nine matchups over the Tigers, aiming to push it to double digits today. Third quarter, Chargers up 53-35. Cadence Davis puts it on the deck, and no one's getting in her way. She gets the hoop and BC the 20-point lead. To the fourth we go. Doan would get the first score of the quarter, and Maddie Davis makes it two in a row with the baseline jumper. Tigers go on a 6-0 run, starting to get a rhythm going. But the Chargers' D would break out of its shell soon after as Peyton Slaughter swipes it from Mac Hatcliffe, takes it all the way back for the steal and score. Briarcliff would finish the game on a 23-9 run, and Kennedy Bene helps the effort here, knocking down one of four straight three balls for the Chargers, season-high 15 in total, as Briarcliff takes down the Tigers 78-50 the final. To the men's side, Briarcliff currently sitting atop the GPAC standings, winning six of their last seven games. Tigers, though, catching fire early in the first half as Jackson Haar squares up and splashes the tray. Doan quickly extends their lead to 5-zip. But the Chargers would claw their way back soon after, with Connor Gross finding Kyle Borhavy on the pick and roll, who takes it to the hole for two. He finished with eight as BC ties it up at sevens. Don't kept coming though, as Josiah Gardner gets the feet on the block, faces up, and knocks down the jumper. He had 18 to lead the Tigers on the day. They move up 12 7. But, but the Briarcliff Beast woke up shortly after, going on a 16 5 run, and Jaden Klein Hesselink would add to it from deep. Nothing but nylon from him as Briarcliff derails down 66 58, completing the Saturday sweep over the Tigers. Other action in the GPAC, and it proved to be a great day for Siouxland teams with all women's and men's teams securing wins. Continuing with the number 10 Mustangs dominating Midland for their fifth straight victory while setting a single game field goal percentage record, along with Sophia Peppers becoming the 18th player in program history to reach 1,300 points. The number 13 Red Raiders followed suit, ousting Hastings 71 64. As for the men, the Mustangs moved back into the win column against Midland this afternoon. Powered behind a double-double from Trey Brown and a strong outing from Zach Emick, who moved into seventh on the all-time scoring list. The Northwestern shared similar success, defeating Hastings by 13, with Alex Van Kalsbeek becoming the 49th Raider to join the 1,000-point club.